The final demo about rigid body materials is this triangle mesh multi-material demo. And if you load it, what you will see is a number of these uh, colored balls bouncing on this nice striped floor. And if you select the floor, you will realize that it's just a single mesh, yet it has different material zones. How is this supported? Well, uh, it is split into face groups of geom subsets. And uh, it turns out we don't have features to edit these geom subsets as part of Omniverse Create, but you can import a USD mesh file with these geom subsets already defined from an actual modeling program. And then once you have geom subsets defined, you can assign a different material to each of the geom subsets, which is both going to change the way those triangles look as well as uh, determine their physics. So you, here you can see that uh, these subsets are all assigned a material that corresponds to their subset number. So here, this guy is Omni PBR5. It's a material uh, that we expect to find here somewhere. And it's indeed here under the look. So here, Omni PBR5, um, I would expect to find a physics rollout, and indeed we do. And you can see that the restitution on that is 0.5. So now if you look at zero, then it also has this, but the restitution is only 0, 0.0. And this would be able to be then changed, uh, of course, uh, different friction settings and density settings and so on. So that's basically how you can create a multi-part mesh that has different material properties for different triangles.